Welcome to Front Porch Friday. Yesterday, I thought of some of you, especially those of you who have watched a video uh, that I did some time ago. It's, um, it's entitled, A Christian Woman, Christian Wife Married to an Unbelieving Husband. What do you do? It's one of the most popular videos on um, my YouTube channel, and there's a part one and a part two. And I thought of y'all yesterday, those of you who have watched that video, all of you who have friends who have husbands that are not believers and you've prayed for your friend, you've prayed for that husband for years, and uh, just for so many of you who maybe not have even watched that video, of course, but um, my heart goes out to you. And as I listened yesterday to an interview that was on the radio, my heart just thought of all of you. And I just was so grateful to have uh, the ability to share this, this interview with you today. Uh, by way of a link that's going to be on my website. So, and I'll try to put it here at the bottom of this video as well. It was an interview on Focus on the Family, and it was the story, and it was the, an interview with Lee and Leslie Strobel. He was an atheist, and um, she became a Christian uh, in their marriage. And it was a struggle, this wife married to not only an unbelieving husband, but to an atheist husband. And their story was so compelling and so um, touched my heart that I knew it would touch your heart as well and that it would minister to you and give you some tools. I love that Lee shared on this uh, interview uh, four specific ways that other Christian women helped his wife as she was um, trying to live out a Christian life but also live in a marriage with a man who was not a believer in a way that she could be a good witness without just, you know, banging, up, banging him over the Bible out, you know, all the time and things like that. And it was so practical. It was so good. And I'm going to put the links if I can on this video, but they'll definitely be on my blog at PriorityMinistries.com so you can watch it there. But uh, that interview encouraged me, and then I realized that not only was it just an interview from Lee and Leslie Strobel, but they have made their life and their story into a movie that opens today. It's called The Case for Christ. That is Lee Strobel's um, story of his journey from, become, from being an atheist to becoming a Christian. How he studied uh, Christ and all of the historicity of all of that and how it led him eventually to give his heart to Christ. In that movie, of course, Leslie is uh, played by an actress in that movie. And I think for those of you especially who are married to unbelievers, to those of you who have friends um, that you want to just be encouraged to take them, maybe they're married to unbelievers as well, it'll be a great movie for you, a real encouragement for you, I think, and it opens today in theaters. It's called The Case for Christ, and um, I've put a movie trailer. You can look it up here on YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, just put, just put in the um, search the Case for Christ uh, movie trailer, and you can watch it as well, but I'm posting it on our blog. Just three t new tools that I thought of that might encourage those of you who are in mismatched marriage, spiritually mismatched marriages. And then the final tool I want to share with is, is this. I didn't come up with that um, little description, spiritually mismatched marriages. Lee and Leslie Strobel have written a book called uh, surviving a spiritually mismatched marriage and so uh, you might want to look that up Google that book as well and uh, I think it would be super super helpful to you I'm gonna put the link to that book on my blog at PriorityMinistries.com. Anyway, I just was encouraged today as I and yesterday as I listened to that interview and I thought of those of you who are struggling and who are uh, just need some encouragement in your marriage to an unbeliever and I hope you'll take advantage of all these new encouraging tools for you. Let's don't give up, sisters. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for your husbands, for your children, for your families today and I just pray that you'll take these tools that you will um, embrace them and be encouraged. Be encouraged. Don't give up. We will continue to pray without ceasing for those we love who don't know Christ. I love you. Thanks so much for sitting with me on the porch today. I'll see you next week on Front, front, front Porch Friday. <laughs> Bye, girls. <laughs>